peace, peace and black power, peace and black power, peace and pan-Africanism, peace and pan-Africanism. Hey, what's going on, black family? What's going on? We got another video. Y'all make sure y'all come into this channel, mashing up the likes, share the video. Most of all, subscribe to that channel, hit that notification bell so you always be in the crosshairs every time I drop one of these videos. Black family, what did Tupac say? What did Tupac say? They telling me it's the white man I should fear, but it's my own kind killing here. You see what I'm saying? I ain't taking out of content because we know that the Neanderthal is a constant killer of us all. But it's asinine for us to participate in the extermination and genocide of black people. We already go through enough. But self-hatred can be a detriment to the rise of black people. So if the white man died tomorrow off the planet, every white Caucasian male died off the planet who caused this major chaos and oppression against black people, we would still have the colonial mindset inside of the white man that's trapped inside of the black body. Yes, I declare that some of us are white people and thought, mindset, brainwash, thinking with artificial intelligence. Yes, black family, I discovered we think with artificial intelligence of another man to want to hurt someone that look like you. You feel what I'm saying? About four months ago, I remember something that happened in New York. Let's go to Brooklyn, New York, in the double shooting in Brooklyn, New York, of two black men. Two black men from Haiti over Noah's dispute. A brother by the name of Jason Pass, 47 years old, didn't like the noise coming from the apartment of a young brother, 27 years old, stepson of a brother. The stepson name is Chi Y Mo. He was killed along with his stepfather, Bolygamy, Bolygamy Math Urine, who was 47 years old also. This brother that executed these brothers came from his apartment from downstairs. He kicked in these people's door. They got kids who make noise in the apartment complex. So you telling me that this brother was killed over noise and then his son, stepson gets smoked to, get deleted? Rest in peace to polygamy, Mathurin, 47 years old, and his stepson, Chi Wamo. Chi Wamo, 27 years old, black man, loses life over something minute. It's noise dispute. I call it self hate. This is a crime of passion, of self hatred. Black people have that much hate for each other that they would execute and kill one another over noise. Two days later, y'all, in a two-day manhunt or three-day manhunt for Jason Pass, who killed 
the two Jamaican brothers. He get found with a knife. Supposedly, he leaped at the police with a knife and they smoke him, they delete him, they kill him. Three black lives lost for nothing. That's a crime of self-hate. A noise dispute. Three black people lay dead. That's the tragedy that black people suffer from and we don't see that it's slavery that introduced the brainwashing technique in her hating self. They taught us to hate black people. We say self-hatred is not real. It's something that black militant people or black conscious people make up. Noise dispute? You tell me that's not self-hatred? Pontiac, Michigan. I'm disgusted with Brooklyn. Three black lives lose, lost for nothing. All behind self-hatred. This is self-hatred. Pontiac, Michigan. February 21st. Cornelius Jones, 33-year-old black man, smoked by 22-year-old black man, killed in his own apartment. You know why? Because the 22-year-old black man spits in the kitchen sink. Spit in the kitchen sink of the brother Cornelius Jones, Cornelius, Cornelius Jones asked the young brother to leave. It's disrespectful for you to spit in my sink. This brother pulls out a gun and killed his brother, shoot him multiple times. This brother leaves three kids, three black kids who got to grow up without a father. Ain't that something? Self-hatred. People tell me when I speak about self-hatred that I'm making this up. I'm a conspiracy theorist. Something that minute, something that small, what is black life worth? Can somebody tell me what the fuck is black life worth? Check these videos out. And you know I'm going to get right back with y'all on this. This is a Chris Wheeler production all instrumental is used as fair use as a disclaimer for educational purpose only all videos are used as fair use as a disclaimer and astonishment over his tragic death. Thank you for joining us, I'm Glenda Lewis. The shooting reported on Carriage Circle last night around 9.30, even Sheriff Michael Bouchard calling the motive for the murder of Cornelius Jones unfathomable. Seven Action News reporter Kimberly Craig speaking with family and friends of the man everyone simply knew as Corn. Cornelius Jones was known to so many people simply as Corn, a man who was friendly and humble, even the sheriff calling the motive for his murder absurdly trivial. Crazy! Whether he was playing charades with family and friends, dancing, or just being silly, Cornelius Jones was always the life of the party. <laughs> but around 9.30 Wednesday night, Jones was shot and killed in his fourth floor carriage place apartment in Pontiac, a stunning and unspeakable loss for his family. He was all about family, you know, just loving one another and lifting one another up and making each other laugh. That's all he was about. Jones was murdered around 9.30 Wednesday night by a 22-year-old acquaintance who was visiting with several others. Witnesses tell investigators the man spit in Jones's kitchen sink, so Jones told him that was disrespectful and to leave. But instead of just walking out, the man became agitated and opened fire on Jones, shooting him multiple times and then running away. I'm still trying to 
wrap my mind around the whole situation on how or even why it happened. I'm a strong believer of God, and I do believe that God chose him to come home. Whatever situation or scenario he used to bring my brother home, that's what he chose to use. Using a drone and tracking dogs, Oakland County Sheriff deputies were able to locate and arrest the suspected shooter and another man described as an accomplice. At the end of the day, God has the last word and Corn, Cornelius, Jones, he will have justice. Jones leaving behind three children. His family says he didn't have life insurance, so they've started to go fund me for help with burial expenses for the man who made a lasting impact on so many. Very humble, very giving, friendly, accepted all. He didn't have much, but what he did have, he gave. He gave <laughs> willingly, he gave sparingly, yes, he, he gave graciously. Self-hatred is a mental illness among black people. Self-hatred has been turned inward on our people. Just imagine on that slave plantation, our ancestors, the black men, could protect the sisters being raped. You could protect your mother for being raped by a Caucasian. You could protect your sister, your auntie, your grandmother from being raped. So all that hate that you have for the white man because you couldn't do anything has turned inward on you and you project it on your people. That hate, the hate that made the hate. So to me, when you see brothers and sisters killing one another, like we kill one another, even the kids are designed to kill one another because we are taught so much white supremacy, we don't see no self-worth among ourselves. So these two incidents, it's a constant rotation that I see and hear about kids killing kids. Black kids killing black kids. Black people killing black people. And they're telling me it's the white man I should fear. But it's my own kind killing here. Hey, mash up the likes. Share this video. Peace. Black power.